a mutation in a sex cell versus in a body cell, which is more dangerous to you? So in this lesson, we'd like to cover how mutations are inherited. And if there is a mutation in your body, where do, where do we want it to happen? And what's more dangerous? So if you think of all the DNA in your body, okay, a mutation is a, a base change or, or several base changes or a change in any part of this DNA molecule that codes for RNA and that codes for proteins. Um, mutagens... Um, or chemicals that cause, or any sort of um, radiation that can cause base changes, um, can happen in either body cells, what we call somatic cells, and they can also happen in sex cells or in gametes. Okay? Um, mutations in body cells over here are not inheritable okay, or non-heritable, okay? They're not passed to the next generation, in other words. And many times, these types of mutations do not cause problems for the cell, but in other instances, the mutations can kill a cell or cause cancer in a cell, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that sounds pretty bad, but not so bad. Um, in terms of not passing it on to any offspring. Mutations in sex cells, however, are passed down to offspring. Every cell that that new organism has will have the mutation. Okay? This may or may not change how the cells function, um, but they can also have serious effects. So remember, the difference between body cells and sex cells, and that body cells are non-heritable and sex cells are. I do want to convey uh, just one warning that there are, ch there are chances that through study and research today that even actions that, that cause mutations in our own life or just behaviors in our life can be inherited. Um, and this is, uh, involves the study of what's called epigenetics. Scientists may be learning a lot more about what is inheritable and what is not.